Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Trofinette Babbling Belgian, and uh, welcome to The Last of Us Part 2, the very highly anticipated Last of Us Part 2. I've been waiting for this for a very long time, I think that, that goes without saying. Um, if you're new to the channel, I'm uh, usually a, a PlayStation only player. Uh, I like to do my playthroughs very, very extensively. I try to be as detailed as possible. And I usually also shut up when uh, anybody is talking in game. So I rarely will talk over any cutscenes, any story happening, because uh, that's what we're here for. Uh, the main reason after all, the story. We're going deeply into the story of The Last of Us Part 2. I have been trying to avoid any kind of news, any kind of footage, any kind of spoilers about this. Obviously, I've played the first Last of Us. Uh, amazing game, amazing uh, memories about that game as well. And uh, finally, we're here with the sequel. Without further ado, I'm not gonna well, drag this out too much longer. Let's go. We see a boat already. I don't know what that's all about, but I'm um, just gonna have to adjust the control settings just slightly. So there we go, because one, I'm one of those uh, weird guys who plays inverted on the y-axis. So uh, let's go into story, new game, and then we're gonna go for hard. So for those looking for a greater challenge. If you're uh, familiar with my channel, you know that I usually go for a little bit of a challenge. Um, and it looks like resources are gonna be very limited and enemies are more dangerous. So definitely on par for a very good survival game. So let's go with hard on our very first blind playthrough. Uh, I have a bit of a pre-order bonus. I think it's just um, more ammunition, I think, and some of the crafting, yeah. So ammo capacity upgrade for the semi-auto pistol and the crafting training manual. I don't know how much that's gonna be uh, there, but apparently we also got the invert option over here, which is cool. So uh, let's dive in. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. She go halfway across the country with someone. She needed her immunity to mean something. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the firefly. Because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Jesus Christ, Joel. What do you do? I saved her. Wow, we really just picked up where the last one ended. And this is really cool that they completely remade the final section of the original game. Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. Cover the exit. Don't let him get away. Damn. 
that so? <laughs> That's a lot. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I told her her immunity meant nothing. And she believed you? I didn't say otherwise. <laughs> we should head back. And this game is gorgeous, obviously, but wow. So, Joel and Tommy. And is this, I don't know how far we are from the ending of the last game, but this is, wow, look at this. I am actually in control. Uh, we're playing as Joel for now. But since Ali is mostly on the cover, I'm supposing that we're gonna switch at some point. But Joel and Tommy, I think they're brothers if I remember correctly. It's been a while since we played the, the last game. I started doing a second playthrough on this channel a while back, never really finished it. But um, yeah, it's been so long. And this is... Uh, yeah, just having that little recap, it's really cool to come back to the... Uh, the ending of the story since, of course, I feel like Naughty Dog realized that was so long ago that people might have forgotten the certain details. I think we got most of the uh, important stuff here. That looks really, really sharp for something that's off in the distance. I think we're kind of getting used to... We got used to seeing things in the distance being kind of blurry, but for some reason it really stands out that things are so sharp in the uh, the background there. But I mean, come on. This is... Well, both a, both a, a, a very action-wise start with the flashback to the, uh, the final sequence of the last game, but also just this really calm starting point on the horse. Back with Joel. They look a lot older. I feel like, because I, I, I said before, I'm wondering how far away from the uh, ending of the original game this is. Try not to hit his head over there, but Tommy looked a lot older than in the original game. Might be his updated model, but uh, yeah, might be that we're just a few weeks later, I'm not exactly sure. Didn't see any on-screen text pointing towards a timeline here, but... This is probably the same outpost that we had in the original game, right? Because that was where Joel and Ellie were going back to. This place is huge, by the way. Those are some uh, high walls. They're completely made out of wood, so they probably made this uh, themselves to keep out the infected. Because, yeah, this game is all about, if you don't know that just yet, this game is all about the world being taken over by uh, an infection. And what that infection is in detail, well, it's okay. we probably it. already know. You but. go on. You sure? Yeah. Right. We'll probably get the details later on. About what we were talking about earlier. I can't say I'd have done different. I'll take it to the grave if I have to. Huh. 
I'll see you later. So about that ending. Tell me down in the comment section down below if you uh, agreed with what Joel did at the ending of the last game or not. Because I feel he was kind of in the right. I mean, the Fireflies... I, didn't, I never felt like the Fireflies knew what they were doing. So them just sacrificing Ellie for maybe the chance of getting a cure. They might have just very well killed her and lost the, the chance of getting a cure anyway. Because uh, they were bumbling through everything else out of the way. And there we have Ellie herself. Because, I mean, it's not like mm. Joel got rid of the cure. Ellie? It might still be in Ellie. That's a nice house, by the way. Well, considering the circumstances. Oh, Jesus. This gave me a heart attack. I tried knocking, but... Hey. Hey. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks are, you know, talking about how impressed they are with you and how well you're helping out. It's good. Yeah. Tommy and I went out riding the other day and he, uh, <laughs> he told me a joke and I, I thought about you. It's, um... Oh, shoot, no, I forgot it. Uh, something about a clock. How do you... Joel, it's, uh, it's pretty late and I gotta get up in a few hours. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I'm, I'm gonna get out of your hair. Just, um... I, w I want to show you something. Just give me one second. I suppose he's gonna go get the guitar. It can't be that much further along because she still has the bandage. That's it. Some folks call this thing here a guitar. Funny. You want to hear something? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Promise me that you won't laugh. I won't laugh. I won't. I'm trusting you. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yes. Oh. Oh, wow. I was playing the guitar, that was awesome. If I ever were to lose you, I'd surely lose myself. Everything I have found here, I'm not found by myself. Try and sometimes you'll succeed. To make this pain of me All my stolen missing parts I've no need for anymore Cause I believe And I believe Cause I can see Our future days Days of you There you go. 
Well, that didn't suck. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Damn you, Troy Baker. Holy hell. He brings such a nuanced it's yours. performance here. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promise that I teach you how to play. He did. So what do you say, tomorrow night? First lesson? Deal. Okay. Okay. Joel is such a dad right now. Did... Do you remember the joke? What is the downside to eating a clock? It's time consuming. <laughs> okay, that was that one was That's pretty so good. Dumb. <laughs> yeah. Can I get Yeah, I have a feeling this first episode is going to be pretty light on voiceover. That was an amazing, well, not first scene, but that was great. I love how Troy Baker manages, so he's the voice actor for Joel. He manages to really make Joel sound really soft in these first scenes. You can barely hear him talking. Oh, wow. And four years later. Language. Oh, fuck. Hey. Morning. Sorry, I totally overslept. Just give me a minute and I'll get dressed. I heard you had quite a night after I left. I... She kissed me. It was just Dina being Dina. She didn't mean anything by it. I was talking about your fight with Seth. Wait. You kissed Dina? Oh. <laughs> Her face. We're broken up one week and you make a move on my girl? No. <sighs> she was probably just trying to make you jealous. I didn't... I would never... <sighs> Fuck, this is awkward. I'm messing with you, man. I don't care. Get dressed. <sighs> You're the worst. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up you did that. <sighs> So that, I think, is referencing the scene from the reveal trailer. I think that's the only thing I really saw in full before this, um, where we got that dancing scene and then she, uh, Ellie, kissed, Ellie kissed the girl. Um, hmm, so I need to grab my stuff. Is there anything else I can check here? Mirrors. I always like mirrors in video games, if they're actually working. Yes, okay. This is, this is so detailed. Just the set dressing is, is amazing, like always from Naughty Dog, so try and go fix that up. Okay, immediately for the gun. Immediately for the gun. And then her diary. So there's science books over there, and her posters are... Savage Starlight and Th Thoughts 20? Is it the end, my friend? Okay, seems pretty fitting for her. And then a, a poster about an astronaut. And then, what's that? A raven mouse. Animals of the past. And then, yeah, some kind of uh, Gundam style action figure. That is, yeah, there's a lot of different. I mean, I had a. a if, if you don't know my background, I, I had a degree in game development. And just the the amount of different props that they needed to make just to make this room alone must have been enormous. Because there's so many different types of objects in this house. Hey, is Joel up? Ah, let's grab the knife. 
came to tell me how early was down. That sucks. Yep. Can't imagine they got much sleep. Definitely not as much as you. Shut up. I was just about to get up. Mm -hmm. I was. You got everything? <sighs> yes. So, Jesse. Oh, look at her just putting the gloves on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna geek out on every little Heads detail, up. by the way. Talk to the town this morning. <sighs> what? Let me see if I got this right. You kissed Dina. <sighs> she kissed me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not-so-nice word. Yep. Then Joel decked him. More of a push. And then you got mad at Joel. That part confused me. It was a strange night, man. Sounds exciting. Sorry, I, wa I, I want to stop every five Save seconds right just there. to take it all in. We always are. This is beautiful. Come on. So, I love also, I, I mean, we even saw a few Three details that I just glossed over. There were a few trees in the back there that were just slumped Done. over because of the weight of the snow. Is this about Seth? No clue. Just tell her you never saw me. Nope. Where's your fucking loyalty? Excuse me? Like this. Let's just keep going along because I'm gonna miss dialogue if I don't keep going. Okay, uh, so door. There we go. Apparently he needs me to open his doors. Hey, so... We're okay, right? You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are done. I know. I just... I don't want you to think... Ellie. We're cool. Promise. Thanks. This kind of looks like the place where David had Ali captured in the first game, but it's probably not the same area, I would think. Feels like it's a bit bigger than that. And it's definitely not the uh, hideout that we saw in the first game. This seems like a complete town. Hello, doggy! Hey, old timer. Yeah, get a good scratch. I hope this game just doesn't kill dogs, that would be... That, that, I mean, I hate it when media does that just to get a cheap emotional response. Oh, okay. So, meat, great. Everybody likes meat, right? Oh, hi. A blacksmith, this is so awesome. So, hardware store, the butcher. The butcher has a lot of real estate, and then uh, that's probably just the pelts then, I suppose, which is not next door to the butcher, which makes sense. And then clothing. Oh, that, that's actually really cool. So they, they bring in the animals, they skin them, leave the meat at the butcher, then put the skins over here, and then they can make clothing out of the skins, which makes a lot of sense. Hey, and then Ellie. if they need anything more intricate, there's the hardware store and a blacksmith right next to that. So actually makes a lot of sense and then we see is that a grocery shop yeah eggs milk bread and this is the tipsy bison yeah that's a great bar name want to grab some breakfast no where's maria in the back ali breakfast is really important holy crap -a doodles excuse me ellie there you are come here I am just so pulled into all of this. Seth's got something he wants to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Do it for me, please. <sighs> Fine. Seth. Seth, come here. Fuck me. Hey. Uh, look, last night I was, uh, I was drinking too much. Sure. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Maria tells me that you and Dean are headed out. I uh, made you some sandwiches. Okay. Your steak. Mmm. Thank you, Seth. I love the little glances yeah. that everybody well, uh, throws each other. You be safe out there. Yep. I, I literally have my hand in front of my face just I to... I appreciate that. In awe. 
What you got there? Bigot sandwiches. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Smells good. They're yours. You sure? It's fine. Let me walk you out. Okay. Okay, so Maria sounds like she's in charge, even over part of the town at least. Trade off of Tommy and Joel. Those boys have been up for far too long. Where do I meet them? If you go up to the Northwest Lookout, they're scheduled to arrive later today. But watch yourself. I mean, there's too many sightings of infected recently. Of course. I was going to check out the creek trails. I'll need someone else to cover it. Ellie, you know the creek trails? Not really. All right. Dina's done it a bunch. Come here. I'll have the two of them take it. Well, that solves that. What the hell is up with the facial expression on that child? I mean, this the, the animation is lovely, but the face. She was she was just looking at her nose constantly. Look at that. Look. A really vacant expression, but there we go. Oh, the daycare. The, this game is chock full of detail. Look at that. They're just getting a, a story read for them. So the creek trails, because I'm I'm getting off topic here completely. <laughs> I'm gonna be Ellie, distracted for a while, I think. I'll talk to you for a sec. Okay. There we go. So up, up, really look, close. I don't know what's going on with you and Joel? <sighs> Maria, the guy really cares about you, and I'm sure he didn't mean to. We're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry to pry. Be safe. Thanks. Thank you, Maria. Yo, Dina! Assignments! <clears throat> Just give me a minute! They even have a play Get yard. Get your girlfriend to the stables, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> that face. I mean, every face. Hey, Dina. Can I talk to you? <laughs> hey, guys! I'm tapping out. Come on! How long? Whew. Hey. Hey. Um, I just want to say sorry for running off last night. Oh, that's, it's okay. I totally get it. I, <laughs> I just, I felt bad. Why? I, cause I started the whole thing and I just, I shouldn't have kissed you in front of all of those people. And no, you were drunk. That's fine. Well, still, I just, I don't want you to think. No, I'm not reading into it or anything. Just. You know what I love about you? How you let me finish my sentences. All right. Well, we should probably get going. Yeah. Ow! What the fuck? I'm not even playing! Cause you're a chicken? You're a chicken! <laughs> I hate this kid so much. <laughs> you wanna fuck him up? Uh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I do. I don't wanna start Black this game it. fighting it's children, no. No. <laughs> Language. Go, go. Oh, I'm hitting uh, children. Gotcha. We're on the board, suckers. <laughs> so let's grab some. I'm gonna lose to some children. Uh, yeah. Ow, ow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my kid. Don't tell your mom. <laughs> oh, I'm coming for you, Tiny. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you like that? that? Can I go? Can I go? And then, oh, they're in an unfair advantage. Come on. There we go. Oh, suck it. Grab that and then can him. Oh, eat snowy little shit. I can hit him again. In your face. Oh, her. Sorry. That was a. That was a. Get over here, you little punk. Eat snow. Eat. Ow. I just Why ran on him. There, that, like there we go. Grab that. That's probably one hiding. Ow. Hi, Dino. I know where you live, Alex. Oh, you better hide. Where's Alex? I'm gonna. Oh. oh. I see you. Yes. Yes. I'm doing very well. There we go. Oh no, Ooh. you got snow in your hair. Oh, dang it. Parents don't love you. And there we go. There seems to be some kind of auto aim. I don't know if that's going to be... Ow. Who taught you that? There we go. No fair. Eat it, shrimps. Hey. Hey. How's it feel? <laughs> no. Get her. Help me. Oh, you'll never get away with this. Meat pile. Get off of her, you monsters. Aww. All right, we actually have some work to do. Aww, man. I guess I asked for that, huh? Yep. Yeah, you did. Let's go. 
Remember in all of that, by the way, that Ellie has a gun in her backpack. <laughs> I hope the safety's on, because that's 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 not really safe with all those children so hanging around. Jesse wants us to do the creek trails. He's gonna relieve Joel and Tommy. Oh, that's nice you assigned us together. You're gonna like this route. So is L1 also Morning, the run girls. button? Doesn't seem to be Morning. the case right now. Hi, hi, sir. Do you have a name? No? Okay. Apparently not. The people I can talk to? I'll bring them in. Ooh. Thank there's you. a lot of horses. Which makes sense. That's going to be their main mode of transportation. I mean, the detail in the logic of this place is also really cool. Like how the, the stores were positioned together. And now, of course, the, the big real estate for the, uh, the horses. Which is going to be their main... Uh, yeah, their main... Cool, basically. They're going to be using the horses a lot to get around and get more supplies. Hi. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Thanks. This poor man didn't have a, a name, sadly. Aww. Come on. Hi. Oh, so I get the one with the white stripe on the head. Hey, Even the sure. horses look really, really good. Oh, look who decided to join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, immediately a big you. gun. And one for you. All right. Open it up. Settle down, children. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes, mark your log books, clear any infected you see. You run into anything you can't handle. You come back. Be smart about it. All right, get going. Is it me or is it weird that there are a lot of infected around this place? Because they seem to be in a remote mountain area. So I wouldn't think that after four years there's still a lot of infected around if they get if they manage to get a grip on the situation. But apparently I'm uh, mistaken. Because I feel like if that's the case, then the infected seem like seem like they have a goal if they go towards more people. Where are we now? Because we were going to check the creek trails, but now we're in a cabin. I feel like we skipped a step. Ah, okay, so we I think we swapped back to Joel. That's probably him in the background there. I mean, he has the same backpack, but... Might be mistaken. Uh, doesn't seem like a silhouette. Now, does it? No. Definitely not Joel. What were you dreaming about? Was I talking? You're doing your teeth grinding thing. She is Where have you been? really strong. Look at those arms, wow. Grab your gear. I want to show you something. What? Trust me. Okay, so we're not getting names just yet. But these are definitely new characters. A working garage door, holy hell. Come on, this way. Um, okay. Unknown protagonist. I feel like we're, we're setting up characters to die here. This is not, this is not, I don't like getting introduced like to characters like this. You sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. 
I mean, snow effects are always nice, right? Look at this. I could just make circles and it kind of makes sense. That is... I could probably make a snow angel if I wanted to. This is... Yeah, this is going to be a lot of the playthrough, I think, until I start panicking because of infected and... Uh, and and whatnot. What are you doing wandering around out here by yourself? <laughs> Been restless. You too. I feel like the farther south we go, the prettier it's gotten. You want to keep going? And just drive all the way to Mexico? I've thought about it. You can see Manny's hometown. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that living up to his stories somehow. Wait. Yeah, no, probably not. Wait, 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 wait. What? What's this track? There's a, there's a set of footprints over here. What? Who the hell was that? Okay. Um... The voice actually sounds like ooh, I can crawl. Ah! You did all this in the dark. Wait. Holy yes. hell! I can actually make snow angels. Yes, yes, yes! Look, snow angels. This game is the best game ever. Game of the year. I have never been able to do this in a video game. I can flatten this and die. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just let's just do something more productive now. Um. But yeah, her voice sounds familiar somehow. It's probably a voice actress that we've heard before. But we're definitely following somebody's footsteps trail. And that's just going... Because he's going over there. I'm going to follow the trail. Hello? Oh, are you serious? Are you serious? The snow drops from the branches. Oh, come on, naughty dog. This is too much. I'm gonna we keep do going to do it again. Like this. We're gonna be tired for today's trip. Oh, not that far. Hey, is Mel okay? She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. You stop being weird. You're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. <laughs> you're, you're not. I mean, you're not telling us where we're going. It sounds like you're gonna gonna show us something we don't want to see. Careful jumping over these. Damn. I mean, I'm, I'm almost stopping involuntarily by every two minutes just to... Oh, that's jumping. Even that noise. That was the noise of, of wet snow falling into water. That was... Are you breaking up with Mel? What? No. You wish. Uh, I've had my fill. Thank you. Okay, so we have a bit of uh, a history here. That wet I slap. Be as graceful as you. Barely. What is that? You'll be fine. It's too high. Come on. Do not push me off, mysterious man. Shit. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Eyes on me. Abby. Stop looking down. I think she has further to go. So, Abby. Thank you, Abby. When I know we have to go back this way. Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. How about I work my foot up your ass? Abby, stop flirting. Oh God, <laughs> that was no. That was so wrong. No foot up the ass thing, please. Okay. So Abby and Owen, we're on a first name basis already. Owen, don't get too touchy. We were, we were fine. I'm on edge for some reason. Okay, so we're nearing Does it? the village. We made it. Holy shit. It's a fucking city. Yeah. Have you told anyone else? I wanted you to see it first. Saw an armed patrol go from town to an outpost over there. A few more outposts in between. They have electricity, guns. It's a lot of people. We can figure it out. Okay. Assuming he's in there, how do we get to him? 
Well, we can corner one of the patrols and get confirmation, and then, I don't know, maybe find a way to lure him out. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll be happy to offer that information up. <laughs> well, then we make them. Do you hear yourself? Okay, what do you want to do? What is going on with you? Maybe he doesn't want to attack a village full of people? Mel's pregnant. Oh. Okay. It's not just that, though. Should I say congrats? When everyone else sees this, they're going to want to turn back. We can convince him, right? I fucking knew I couldn't count on you. Happy. I want what you want. But not at any cost. Hey. Don't! Look at the snow in his hair. Bond. The snow on everything, basically. Is it me or is it on purpose that Abby sounds like Ellie, kind of? I think they're too close together in age. Fuck it. Because my first, my first thought was, okay, Abby and Owen are the parents of Ellie. And they want to get her out of here. But then they were talking about him and, I mean, I in a video game universe, you would think that they're talking about Joel because that's the character we know. And we know that's in the village as well. And now we're alone for some reason. I don't know what Owen's doing at the moment. This is going to turn out really bad. Um, and I don't know what her intentions are just yet, but I feel like they're not too, too, too good here. But a uh, very interesting twist to play as a, apparently an antagonist of sorts, although Joel was never a good guy. Uh, and then we can just jump. There we go. She has really good grip, by the way. But yeah, we saw her uh, her physique a while back. She was buff. I am 100% uh, convinced that she can do whatever she's doing right now. She is. She can probably kick Joel's ass. If it's uh, Joel that we're looking for. So yeah, this mechanic, I don't like this mechanic now. I know I can make snow angels with it, but um, the fact that it will need to be... will need to go prone for some... for some section. Okay. That kind of... kind of has a jump scare, I think. So yeah, the, the fact that you need to go prone sometimes, that's gonna be a lot of jump scares, right? That's not gonna be good. Um... But yeah, I'm assuming this is going to be our combat tutorial. So she's already pulling her gun. Because it actually makes sense. So they probably wanted to avoid having a combat tutorial with Ellie so they can build the story up slowly. I only have three bullets, by the way. You alive? Oh, why am I checking? Well, he's definitely not that good. Because I don't think that's blood trickling down. That's probably his veins just being... Oh, fuck. Why are there this many corpses here? Oh, wow. Yep. Okay. Uh, and a scream. But I would assume that these are probably infected that the, the people at the village killed. Which is why there are so many, but... Oh, no. No. Abby, please be careful. I don't know who you are just yet, but I feel like we're going to get a jump scare in a sec. Oh, wow. I don't want to push that. Oh. Yucky. Okay. Probably not the first gross thing that we're going to see in this game. Oh, Jesus fucking hell. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 no, 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 please fuck off, sir, 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 oh, yay, ow, ow, 
Um, can, can we please? Can we please use the gun option? The gun option. Ooh, torch. Okay. And uh, melee. Yeah, she's really buff. Is this is this an arena? Is this an arena? Yeah, it is. Well, as long as there's only one. Okay. The timing on that was a bit off. Okay, I'm... There we go. Fucking up a little bit here. I lost half of Abby's health. I don't want to waste my bullets just yet. How is health working in this game? Does that come back? Probably not. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have to work on my timing. I did get a little bit of slow-mo, but I don't know. So now there's only one. Why is your mouth still going? Fuck. My shoulder? Yeah, not only your shoulder, I think. Oh. Okay. Okay, healing. Yes. Okay, so that's basically the same as in the previous game. Okay, but that was my only health kit. She's actually... Yeah, she got a few scrapes on her face now. Uh, and a big... Yeah, patch of blood on her... Uh, on her cap there. That's not good, is it? Okay, but no supplies just yet. We do get a building over here. Whew, okay, so melee fighting still works. And you probably get three bullets because they're going to be useless. Oh, why am I... Okay, so that's the flashlight. Do I need to shake it like in the previous game? Because that's going to get old quickly. I need to shake the controller again. I'm hoping not. Is there anything I can use in here? I would assume not, but... Oh. Why is there ammo here? So R2 is reload. I hate that that Naughty Dog does that. Oh so they put the here. reload button on the shoot button. Which means that there's probably no blind firing. Wait a second, is there? No. It's just a reflection of the flashlight. Let's go. Oh. Why? Can I shoot? Okay, I can shoot this while prone. Yeah, th this definitely is a bad idea. Was that behind me or in front of me? Ooh, hi. That is in front of me. I think that was straight in the face. But that has probably attracted more of them. I probably want to avoid killing with, with the gun. Where's that lookout? Okay, so I'm going to turn off the flashlight now that we're outside again. And I can't reload. I need to. I need to fight every bit of urge that I have as a gamer to not reload because I have shot once. I don't have any extra guns, so that's okay. It's still over there. It's pretty far away. Um, and slide down again. And you go into stealth again. Thank you. It's gotta be close. No, it's not. We saw it in the distance, Abby. We saw it in the distance, Abby. Is that... Is that a way to go in? That's a really fancy barbecue, by the way. Okay. Oh. Crap. Ah, okay, so she also has the listening thing. Stay crouched to sneak up on enemies and press triangle to grab them. Okay. Oh. No, I need to probably stealth kill. I'm pressing square. Okay, so that still works as well. We need to be careful. Are there any more? Doesn't seem so just yet. I'm just quickly gonna scrounge around. Okay, so I found a few more bullets in on a nightstand. I'm just gonna reload that. Yes, I did that. So I'm going to probably skip most of my scrounging around because I'm going to have to do that regularly in this game. Just especially in this difficulty, probably, where I need to uh, be very, very mindful of my resources. Um, so triangle is grabbing, square is stealth killing. 
So there's... Oh, I can't see through the floorboards, apparently. So this guy's probably gonna have a bit of a routine. And there's multiple ones over here. So there's one over there, but there's definitely one on the left there as well. He didn't see me there, apparently, so I'm just gonna grab and then... And then I'm gonna just slowly, slowly snap his neck. There we go. Be quiet. Be quiet. Just slowly take a look around. Okay, so the second one came in. So luckily I took cover. But of course, these things are mindless drones, so probably not too much awareness of what happened to their buddy. The range on this ability is not... Okay, so he's in the other room now. Oh, God. Yeah, he saw me, okay. So I probably need to... So the forging mechanic needs to be very... Very well timed, because otherwise... Ah, we go. Okay, so there's no, no other one. And we are gathering a bit of bullets here. Okay, so definitely back to the Last of Us, the normal Last of Us, and we get some extra healing. Yeah, I might as well grab it. And then the garage. Let me check it out, but apparently it, it probably won't work outside. We get one more bullet. And we're fully healed up. So 11 bullets and at full health. I'm so lost. Yeah, you are. Yeah, okay, why the camera went up her ass for some reason. Um, I should go over here and then climb over. Okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to use those 11 bullets. Why is she saying shit? I haven't seen what she saw. Okay, so there's definitely... So there's one over there. I hear another one on the left. Yeah, that's probably that one. So he's turning back. I'm backing around the car. So I think I got him here. And there goes the first one. So there's another one on the left and then two over here so I think the second one just ran off so <laughs> I'm being quiet again because in stealth sections it's uh, hard to just focus on so there's two more over here I think that's it right yeah so there's two more over here So I think I'm gonna have to wait until that one turns around. Or am I gonna be fast enough to grab this one? Yeah. Okay, I do. I might have to shoot the last one. Yeah, he's gonna see me. There we go. There we go. That's the last one. The last of them, so to speak. Okay. Oh, I love the blood effect in the snow as well. That is so nice. Yeah, this is going to be a long first episode. So uh, buckle in. So I need to prone over here. I'm just going to... Yeah. I'm listening. There's nothing, uh, nothing going to jump out at me. And that's the truck I could have also crawled underneath. So probably need to squeeze in here. And we get footsteps. Horse tracks. Or horse tracks. Like, they're kind of like footsteps. And then we switch again, I'm assuming. Are we switching back to... Ellie? Oh, damn. Naughty Dog, you're just showing off now. 
and we're back at Alley. Yeah. Okay. And again, I hope that pistol safety is on. Come on. Because that's in a this way. dangerous position. But, but, with that done, that's going to be the f it for the first episode of uh, our playthrough of The Last of Us Part 2. So, hope you guys enjoyed this very first episode. I'm going to do at least one, maybe two of these every week. Um, probably around this length as well. I'm going to do my best to aim for that. Uh, depending on how the game, uh, the story flows, I'll try to stop at certain sections. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to continue with Ellie on the horse, on the patrol. So thanks enormously for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode of The Last of Us Part 2. Goodbye. <laughs>